This is a song that has been asked for so many times by my patrons, but it never wins the patron vote. So by virtue of just being asked for a lot, I thought I have to do it. I have to. So here we go. A haunting intro already. Okay, before we get into this, Lorena is um, Canadian, but before she writes any of her music, she goes through a lot of research. So she might travel to Ireland or travel to Spain and find out about the music of different regions and then create a whole concept album around what she discovers on her travels, which is really, really cool. When the dark wood fell before me oh. And all the paths were it's beautiful. It's beautiful. When the peace of Christ say there is no other way, I tilled the sorrows of stone. I did not believe because I could not see, though you came to me in the night. Her breath is interesting. When the dawn seemed forever lost, you showed me your love. It's interesting, I'm not sure where she's from in Canada, but she's kind of almost got an Irish accent in it with the, the really rhotic eyes, which is also in a lot of Canadian accents as well. But she has this really interesting fluttery vibrato that runs all the way through the note. It's really light, it doesn't cover a lot of range. It's really, really um, subtle and really, really beautiful, as well as this lightness to her tone. She's never going really, really heavy. There are points where she's going into her chest voice, but actually she's bringing her mix and her head voice down quite low to maintain that very, very folky, ethereal, beautiful sound. Cast your eyes on the ocean Cast your soul to the sea when the dark night seems endless, please remember me. me. So she is keeping her vocal cords quite thin throughout and then being quite gentle with her breath. You can see she's not powering into anything. And um, you can create, I'm sure she could create a big tone, I don't know if she's going to do it later on, but the way that you use that feeling of lightness, and as I say, technically what it is, is thinning those vocal folds, and actually I should say vocal folds and vocal cords are the same thing, so just different terminology, but um, people got confused as they thought cords often were like guitar strings, but they're not. They are like a fold of matter. Um, but yes, she's thinning them really, really thin, keeping it light and using that lightness to create this really ethereal sound. When the mountain fell before me And it sounds the deep well of desire. And I, I will listen to a swathe in a minute, but it's interesting because often we are going for a sound that is robust. As a vocal coach, I'm trying to help my pupils feel robust, especially when they're singing pop and rock. If you're trying to sing Aretha Franklin, you don't want to sound like this, but this is all about bringing that back, allowing it to be fragile. It doesn't want to sound robust. It wants to sound like it's on the edge of breaking, like she is emotional. And that is the sound of a lot of folk. It's that light, light, beautiful head voicey sound, certainly within the woman. From the fountain of forgiveness Beyond the ice and the fire Cast your eyes on the ocean Cast your soul to the sea When the dark night seems endless Please remember me Oh, 
that makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful. It's like an angel. Wow. Holy moly, that was so beautiful. The contrast from that fragility to a solid head voice. She lowered her larynx. Earlier on, she had um, a kind of neutral-ish larynx, but here, oh, she made a really dopey, big space. Now, it's interesting because uh, I talk about creating a big space a lot, and I feel like our muscles, um, can't really create, they can't make more space apart from raising our soft palate and moving our tongue forward. But what we can do is relax all the muscles in our throat. And it's interesting because it does still feel like that to many people. That's why we use this terminology because if you say creative big space in your throat, it feels like you're doing that, but actually you're relaxing. It's interesting. It's not a muscular action, it's an anti-muscular action. And that is what she's doing here. And then a slightly higher larynx. She kills me. Give this clay feet wings to fly to touch the face of the stars. Yeah, she's really got the Irish vowels in there. Lift this mortal veil of Take these crumbled hopes, hatch with tears, will rise above these earthly cares. Cast your eyes on the ocean, cast your soul to the sea. When the dark night seems endless, please remember me. I really want to go her to go to that place again. Please remember me. Please remember me. Please remember me. Wow. I feel like I'm gonna go and listen to that like a hundred times because that moment, it has such a payoff. It just is like, oh, you know, when you get like, I don't know, I imagine this is what ASMR is like for people who like ASMR. I'm just like, yes, this moment is awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>